Before I jump into the video for today, I want to remind people that I have two courses that I'm highlighting right now in my Teachable series. I have a pre-algebra course that students can take where they can learn fractions, decimals, percents, prime numbers, prime factorizations, all the skills they need to be uh, to be uh, to do Algebra 1 with confidence. I also have an ACT preparation course which students can sign up for today. Let me know if you have any questions on these courses. They are available in the description below. Today I want to focus on the topic of procrastination. As students have started the school year, I know that some of them have received projects and different things to work on, but I'm not just speaking to students here. I'm speaking to anyone who is in a job position that also involves projects and deadlines and so on and so forth. I want to give you one suggestion for how to handle procrastination. So basically, when I was in my undergrad, undergraduate days and even when I did my master's in medical physics, uh, there, were, there were times where procrastination seemed to be uh, rampant in my life. And I could tell you that uh, procrastination is definitely not the way to go. So here's how to deal with it. Number one, when you know that there is a deadline to a project, I would encourage you to write down, of course, that date. If you want to create a document to do this, that would be fine too. Write down that date. So we have a project and we have the due date of that project, right? So this, this method can be used for multiple projects. But let's start with just one project. So you have a project that is due December 1st of 2021. Then you write down today's date. You write today's date on the other end of your piece of paper, okay? So you have today's date and you have the date that the project is due. I would encourage you then to split the project into components that you can accomplish in a regular scheduled time. Now, this discussion can be broken into two, and I'm just going to introduce it in this video or introduce these two things in this video, and then let's take a deeper dive into each one of the two components. So the first component is basically you need to, and I need to, allocate time every day to different tasks. I look at my grid, my schedule for the week, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, each day of the week, and I assign something to each hour. If I don't assign something to each hour of the day, then there is a greater tendency to find myself getting distracted, doing things that are not productive. Maybe um, reading a news article about something that has no bearing on my life at the moment. Uh, or, or, you know, and, and so these are things that we want to be very careful with. So give yourself, of course, room to breathe, but also give put a plan at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, I'm planning to do A, B, or C. So that's number one. We need to have a sort of a schedule for functioning on a daily basis. But the other thing now is take your projects and break them into smaller pieces that fit into the times that you've assigned for taking care of certain things. So for example, maybe one to two o'clock is my time to study chemistry every day. Well, that project that is due December 1st, could I take an element of that and work on that on Monday at one o'clock? Even if there is no homework for a class, it's not a bad idea to set aside time to review things and to get ahead of the game. So two things here quickly. The first is we need to have a daily schedule with a plan for how we want to make the most of our day. The second thing is we want to take our big projects and break them into smaller pieces and fit them into uh, you know increments. Maybe it's uh, 30 minutes each, each day working on that project that we know is due in five weeks or six weeks or seven weeks whatever the timeline. And so I just want to encourage us today that one way to deal with procrastination is to take the project, write down when it's due, and then trace your steps back to the current date, and then break the project into reasonable increments of time, whether it's once every week I'm spending an hour on the project, or I'm going to spend uh, 30 minutes or, or 15 minutes a day working my way up to the end of that project. Now imagine how productive you will be and the quality of work you'll produce if you were to use this approach. So just wanted to encourage students as the, as the school year has started on how to examine the issue of procrastination and to overcome it by breaking projects down into smaller chunks. I'll be making a longer video on this, so please, if you are interested in learning more about uh, time management skills, productivity skills, I'll be discussing more of that in my book coming out this winter, um, Living Sensibly or Living a, life, Living a Life That Makes Sense. So this is one of the chapters I'll be highlighting. Um, I will also present more on my YouTube channel, so please feel free to subscribe, like, and share the video, and let's help uh, one another. Let's help people to learn how to be better stewards of the time they've been blessed with. Take care and have a blessed week.